we are delighted to welcome you to this year's edition of the Arts for Peace Forum. Uh, it's bigger and better. We've done it for five years now. And today we are being hosted at the ECA. In Happy, we believe in working the vision. All four editions of the Arts for Peace Forum we've discussed and we've come up with great ideas from our innovation lab and then we've taken it down to the grassroots to actually implement. The importance of people coming together from across the continent uh, to discuss the concept of peace is very vital because we get to hear perspectives from different nationalities. People from Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, and Nigeria, and Cameroon giving us their different perspectives of what they think is important. Because if you're only in your country and you do not know what is happening elsewhere, it's hard for you to actually understand and grasp what they're going through. The theme for this year's summit is rethinking and acting on the situations and needs of refugees and returnees in Africa. This is very important to us. There's a need for us to rethink the entire uh, you know, ecosystem from humanitarian assistance to rehabilitation. A rethinking needs to be done and then we cannot do business as usual. So in line with the theme for this year, that is integrating the returnees and refugees into our spaces, the, the occurring theme was inclusion. How do you include the how do you include the diverse groups of refugees and returnees in the society? We also talked about silencing guns, guns and violence in uh, at length has been a contributing factor to, uh, to lack of peace. We also had another parallel program where the peace factory, where we have a whole host of people, the young people coming together to work further on the, on the icons for the, the seven icons for the goals of the Africa 2063 agenda. So we also had a set of activities, we had fashion for peace, we also had a music for peace, a kind of a tour. We also had a very interesting cartoon. How can use cartoons to pass something to the cross to uh, inculcate a culture of peace? Why use arts to promote peace? The answer is simple. Arts is the most widely used avenue for education and entertainment. Look at a case of Uganda, for example. Bobby Wine, a musician who turned into a member of parliament, is using his music to promote education. He's using his music to actually create awareness about the situations that are ongoing in society. So we cannot ignore the art industry. We all have to come together, embrace the arts, and make everyone know that peace is possible. And it's going to be even more possible if we incorporate the arts. Politicians read you, they listen to you, enjoy your creative power. That's more, you are more powerful than many of us. And so I think you will be able to use, see that. I'm really impressed and uh, I'm seeing a lot of people participating and I believe the future of Africa is in the hand of arts. We cannot develop Africa if we left arts behind. With all the treaties, policies we are developing, but we need a communication channel. We need a communication, a right communication. And the fastest, fastest communication that's arts. So if we leave, we left arts behind, we are nowhere. It's the only way you can talk to the youth. It's the only way you can relate whatever you want to say, whatever you want to deliver, sensitizing about their behavior, about how to, you know, comport themselves. It's this platform. And not only that, now you're bringing out their talents. You know, Mr. Ibrahim, the director of AAPI, has been a bridge between the disability movement, the African disability movement, and the arts community, the African arts community. And for this, I'd like to um, express my sincere thanks wherever you are, Mr. Ibrahim Sisse. When you see, when society sees a person with disability, there is what I call a presumption of incapability. The first thing that comes to your mind is that this person cannot. I 
call that presumption of incapability. And therefore we have to prove ourselves. We have to always walk that extra mile, which by the way is very cumbersome, I can tell you. We, have, we always have to prove that we can. Why? Because society, the primary, the primary response, the primary approach from society is that we cannot. And therefore arts can play a significant role in addressing this issue of impression. It's all about impression, believe you me. It is not about the impairment.